Hello friends, this is Growl. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new Shadowlands Barbershop features to customize your druid forms, and how to easily unlock a couple transmog options. Previously, you had to have items transmogged in order to use the appearance, meaning you couldn't change your cat form unless you were feral, or bear form unless you were guardian. In the most recent patch, however, that is no longer the case, and you can now freely customize your forms through the Barbershop. It's really easy, just visit the barbershop in Oribos, or in one of the various other places that house one like Stormwind or Orgrimmar. Just click on the form you want to change in the top right and you can easily change your form for almost no gold. One issue though, you need to have the forms unlocked in order to use them. Many of the really cool forms aren't baseline. And as a quick note, if your barbershop customizations don't seem to be working properly, you may already have a glyph activated that is also modifying the appearance. In order to remove a glyph, just purchase some vanishing powder. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you may not have many forms unlocked, so I want to show you how to get a few customization options quick to choose from. I'll leave a video timeline with what's included in the video, and also a link in the description to the full wowhead guide on druid forms if you want to look them up yourself. Let's start unlocking. First, I'll cover the most common one that I get asked about, Firecat. This appearance is unlocked from the transmog appearance for Fandral's Flame Scythe, a two-hander that drops off of Major Domo, Staghelm, and Firelands. This is an old raid, so it's extremely easy to clear solo as any character, as long as you're max level. You can attempt this twice a week, one for normal and one for heroic. Firelands is located in the south part of Mount Hyjal and Kalimdor. You can take the portal in your faction's major city to Mount Hyjal and then fly there relatively quickly. The entrance should be pretty easy to find. It's by all the fiery stuff. Once you're in, you need to clear all of the bosses before the bridge to gain access to Major Domo for a shot at the staff. All of the bosses are where they appear on the map, and you can kill them just by running over to them except for Shanix. To get him to spawn, you have to kill trash mobs in the zone. Usually I just sunfire the big groups of hell nagas as I'm running to the other bosses and he'll be spawned by the end. Once you've cleared all the bosses, you can click the orb to spawn the bridge and make your way to Major Domo. The Flame Scythe has a 10% drop rate according to Wowhead, so you might not get it on your first run. Remember, you can clear it on normal and heroic each week. Before you leave, there's a few things that you might want to do as well. If you came up short, you can find seeds that give you temporary 1 hour fire cat just after you cross the bridge by the portal. You can only carry 5 of these at a time, but they will tie you over until you're able to get that staff drop. You also might want to continue ahead and kill Ragnaros. It only takes an extra minute and you have a chance at a mount. The smoldering egg teaches you the pure blood firehawk. Okay, next let's get a bear form too. For this one, we're adventuring into Legion. There are many forms available through the Legion artifact system. I'll show you how to start the quest chains if you haven't already and unlock your first one and then you can take it from there. As I said earlier, I'll leave a link in the description to a full list of forms if you want to delve deeper. To start getting your Legion artifact appearances, you need to start the beginning quest line to get your artifact weapon. Travel to the Legion Dalaran and if you start walking around, you'll be followed by a Tauren buddy. He'll give you a quest to visit the Moonglade where you'll do a small quest chain to unlock the use of the Emerald Dreamway. After some running around, you'll talk to Malfurion. Make sure you use the portal up there to go to the Dreamway. Don't be like me and Dreamwalk to get there, you'll end up running around in circles in the wrong instance of the zone. Now that you're in the right Dreamway, finish the quest chain to get taken to the Dream Grove where you can finally start the quest to get your appearance. You'll be given a choice as to what artifact weapon to pursue, so if bears aren't your thing, you can choose one of the other paths. There are many other artifact appearances that you may want to unlock, so be sure to consult the full list before making your choice. I chose the Claws of Ursoc since there are some cool bear forms to unlock, and I like my fire cat already anyway. For this quest, head all the way down the cave to find Mrs. Stonepaw, who will instruct you to walk all the way out of the cave and click one of the flasks of Moonwell Water. Find your way to the portal back towards the Emerald Dreamway and then travel to Grizzly Hills. Fortunately, there, there's a hippogriff that takes you to the next part of the quest, just enough time to grab a drink. Once I turn in the quest, I had to walk out and then back in the room to get Ursul to spawn. I'm not sure if this is common. Then you just clear some waves of easy enemies for the next few parts of the quest. Once you impress him with your ability to press tab and sunfire, you finally get to use this flash you've been carrying around to enter a scenario. Before you decide that this whole thing is too much of a commitment, don't worry, this is the last part, at least for this one. 
Follow the scenario to Ursoc's Lair where you again kill waves of enemies with Tab Sunfire. Once you defeat all of the waves, you can grab the claws and equip them, unlocking your new transmog. You can continue through the old Legion questline to unlock some more if you choose, but I just wanted to give a brief intro for this video to get you started. I'll quickly go over some of the other form unlocks if you're interested in pursuing them. Finishing the long Legion quest chain that ends in Balance of Power unlocks several forms for both Bear and Cat. These forms are really cool looking, however this is an extremely long 33 part quest chain that involves going through many old Legion dungeons and raids. This one might be on my to-do list for pre-patch, but will probably get easier once you get fully geared and level 60. Completing the Legion Order Hall campaign also unlocks various forms as well. The Nightmare forms can be unlocked through increasing honor levels in PvP. The first form starts at honor level 10, and then you unlock different colorations at 30, 50, and 80. All transmogs are attainable except for the Mage Tower appearances. They are considered rewards for the Legion content when it was current and likely will never be attainable again. There are also many other forms or glyphs that you can unlock very easily as well. Not all of them are gated behind quest lines or random drop rate. You can buy several glyphs to immediately unlock their respective forms as well and they're extremely cheap. Just hop on your Brutosaur auction house mount that you bought with all of the generous donations from your YouTube and Twitch friends, or just visit a major city. For travel form, I really like the Doe form from Mark of the Doe, but if you want something different, you can use Mark of the Cheetah as well. Mark of the Sentinel transforms your flight form, and you can use Tide Skipper, Dolphin, or Orca to change aquatic form. I'm not going to go through every purchasable transmog, just check the list and see which ones you like best. Now you should have many more forms to choose from. Take a trip back to the barbershop and all of the transmogs, appearances, and glyphs that you unlocked should show up on the list. It's been proven that looking good will help you run dungeons faster and get better parses and raid. Remember, if you're having problems with your forms and it doesn't seem like they're working as intended, make sure you check your spellbook first to see if you have any glyphs equipped. You can also use the Glyph of the Chameleon to give a random appearance every time if you still can't decide what you want to wear. What's your ideal form set up on your druid? Do you think Firecat looks good or is it a bit overused? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this gives you a head start to decking out your druid. I thought this would be a helpful video to put out during pre-patch since people are looking for stuff to do in preparations for Shadowlands. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing lots more helpful guide content throughout Shadowlands. Happy keying!